Hello, I'm Dr. John Loftus. I'm an anesthesiologist and the physician in chief. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Kaiser Permanente Oakland Medical Center. As physician in chief, I'm responsible for the medical care delivered in this hospital. Here in our state-of-the-art facility, we perform over 13,000 surgical procedures every year. It's our goal to make each of our surgery patients and their loved ones feel comfortable, informed, and well taken care of. This video will give you an overview of what you can expect with most surgical experiences. Hi there, my name is Olithia O'Toole and I'm a Kaiser Permanente member. I've had surgery here before, so let me give you a few tips. Wear loose-fitting clothing, leave valuables at home, and please follow the eating and drinking guidelines you were given so your surgery can proceed as planned. Once you arrive to the hospital, you'll find there are a few parking lots close by. The main one used by patients is adjacent to the hospital with the entrance on Broadway. Unfortunately, the city of Oakland requires that we charge our patients for parking, although we wish we could provide this for free. When you enter the medical center, you'll walk past the information desk. Halfway down the hall, you'll see the elevators. Take those to the second floor. This is where you'll check in. Please arrive at the time you're given so that your care team can adequately prepare you for surgery. When you get to the second floor, you'll need your Kaiser Permanente card and a photo ID. You'll need to register by completing some paperwork. And here's a copy of your consent, okay? Okay. Hi, my name is Brooke Bennett, and I'm a registered nurse in pre-op. This is the area where we'll get you ready for your surgery. Hi, Ms. Wallace. Hi. Hi I'm we'll call you from the waiting area and bring you back to pre-op. Your family and friends will stay in the waiting room, but don't worry, you'll have another chance to see them before surgery. The first step is having you change into a hospital gown. This is also a great chance to use the restroom. Hi again. Hi. So we're Next is for us to take a private history with you. We'll do some routine care, including taking your vital signs and getting your weight. After that, we'll get your IV started and draw any necessary labs. You'll get any medications that your surgical team has ordered. At this point, family members or friends can join you if you'd like. If you didn't lock up your valuables at registration, we'll do that for you now, unless you want your family or friends to hold them for you. The last thing you'll do in pre-op is meet the team who'll be taking care of you. Morning, sir. Your surgeon, anesthesiologist, or nurse anesthetist, and your OR nurse. They'll go over the surgical plan and give you an opportunity to ask questions or clarify issues. And your medical record number is? Throughout this whole experience prior to surgery, expect to be asked multiple times your name, Kaiser Permanente number, date of birth, and what procedure you're here for. This is an important safety check for us. Hi, my name is Glenn Valenzuela and I'm one of the anesthesia providers here at the Oakland Medical Center. After pre-op, you'll be taken back to the operating room where your surgical team will be waiting for you. They'll be wearing caps and masks to keep your OR suite sterile. It's normal for the room to feel cold. This helps with sterility. You'll be assisted onto the OR table where you'll be attached to heart and lung monitors and stockings to squeeze your legs. These help with circulation. The team will review the consent with you and with each other. This is Mrs. Wallace. That's correct. Okay, she's here for a diagnostic laparoscopy possible open. All right, Ms. Wallace, my name is Erna again, and I am going to be your OR nurse. My name is Linda Jordan. I'm your OR tech. Okay, my name is Glenn Valenswell. I'm the anesthesiologist. She's going to get a general anesthetic. She will receive two grams of ANSAF before incision. This is done as a final safety check and sets expectations for the surgical team. Once we're all in agreement, the next step is to get you safely off to sleep. You can hold my hand while you go to sleep, okay? Family and friends can follow your progress on the surgery board in the waiting area. We'll give them a color-coded chart so they'll know how to read the information. When the surgery is finished, your surgeon will call your family or friends, or we'll talk to them in the waiting area to give them an update. She did great. To learn more about the OR, you can experience our virtual reality video by clicking on the link on our website. 
It gives you a bird's eye view of what happened in the operating room as your OR team prepares for your procedure. Hello, my name is Anna Rashar. I'm a registered nurse specializing in patient recovery after anesthesia. After surgery, you'll be brought into the recovery area. As you wake up, me or another recovery nurse will closely monitor your vital signs and pain level. It's our goal to keep your pain at a comfortable level while maintaining your safety. On average, most patients spend about an hour to an hour and a half in recovery. When you're ready to go home, we'll give you and your designated caregiver your discharge instructions. If you're staying the night with us, you'll be transferred to your private hospital room. You might be forgetful in recovery, so key information will be communicated a few times to you and to any family members or caregivers who are there with you. Tonight, just follow the instructions that the pharmacist gives you. Okay. We hope this video has helped you feel prepared and reassured about your upcoming surgical procedure. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to ask any member of our staff or give us a call. Here at the Kaiser Permanente Oakland Medical Center, we're working together to make your surgical experience with us a positive one. We're all looking forward to taking excellent care of you so you can get back to doing the things you enjoy and thrive. Thank you. <laughs>